486.1 kilometers per hour. It could be a jet cruising at leisurely pace or one of China's high-speed trains. Built by our company, the CRH-380A set a world record on December the 3rd, 2010, during a trial run on the Beijing-Shanghai high-speed railway. The rail wasn't built for testing, but it's a real passenger train for future use. As one of the engineers on site, Wu says he was both happy and relieved to see success. But during the early development of China's high-speed trains, it was another story entirely. Adaptability was a problem when we imported advanced technology from other countries in 2004. For example, foreign currents and our railways weren't matched, but it was also a force that sped up our technological change. Hundreds of thousands of engineers have put in great efforts. For me, I've needed to travel to different cities offering technical support since 2008, even during the holidays, as China's high-speed railway entered into a period of development that new crew, new trains, and new sections of a railway emerged from. In 2008, China rolled out its first high-speed railway at a speed of 350 kilometers per hour. Six years later, Wu was invited to help enact technical specifications for China's standard EMU train, also called the Fuxing Bullet Train. The EU's technical specifications for interoperability, or TSI, has unified standards of power supply and a signaling system among the different trains. But China went one step further. Besides the basic lines referred to in the EU's TSI, engine drivers from different companies could share the same driving system, so it's with Chinese characteristics. From importing to developing tech at home, and from comprehensive to sustainable innovation, a dozen years on, Wu says China's high-speed railways have fulfilled a leap in growth, from pursuer to front runner. Put into operation in 2017, the Fuxing Bullet Train is entirely designed and manufactured in China. While the people continue to demand speed, engineers are already eyeing the next big thing. We will step up efforts to build high-speed trains with a speed of 400 kilometers per hour and high-speed maglevs of 600 kilometers per hour. The two complement each other. The faster speeds of the high-speed maglev train sits somewhere between the conventional high-speed train and the airplane. All three are expected to play their part in helping build a high-speed transportation network in the future. By the end of 2020, China's railways reached over 140,000 kilometers, with 38,000 kilometers of high-speed railway. Statistics from the International Union for Railways show China's closed-loop high-speed railway security system is also the safest in the world. Wang Mengjie, CJTN, Qingdao, Shandong Province.